The main survey window of MB Max 64 High Sweep's multi beam editing package is extremely powerful and has several tools to allow you to rapidly clean your multi beam data and to visualize where you may have errors. Let's take a look at some of the things you can do inside the survey window of MB Max 64. Let's take a look at some of the editing tools available from the survey window of MB Max 64. Here I've read in four data files. I can display one at a time and highlight them. If there was problems with the line, I could actually come in here and, and, and straight line interpolate across it to remove spikes in navigation. I'd still have depth data inside there. Like anywhere in the editor, Control Z it will return the original data. It right, allows you to back up. Well, we'll typically check the speed. And here we have some speed spikes. And if I was in a hurry, I could go ahead and clean up the speed spikes. Let's just delete a line below. So I'm just going to draw a line and delete those speed spikes. And then a line above. So you can quickly clean up problems with your raw data parameters. If I look at the heave tide, down here. I can look at four lines in a row, or I can look at just one line. Where this is my raw RTK tide information, and then my corrected tide is going to be this nice smooth line through the data set. So when you examine all the raw parameters, then we can go ahead and do our beam angle calculations. So I'm going to calculate it for all the files. It will then automatically create a matrix for me here, right, where I can go ahead and see my data points. Let's turn off the filter preview. And here I have some problems with my data that are pretty apparent. Uh, if I take this data, there's several tools that I can use to clean it up in a hurry. I have these outside points on the outside noise. I'm just going to lasso those. And right now I'm on fast delete. Under edit in the settings, right, you can have the fast delete, right, the automatic, where it will automatically calculate and update the surface. Or you can tell it to wait until you want it to do it. Fast delete option is over here. I'm going to go ahead and look directly into the data set, and here I see all this noise well below the surface. I'm going to plus key here a couple times. Right now I'm displaying the maximum Z values. And if I did the average values, it's not going to look so bad. It might still look pretty bad. Right click and drag it over to there. I'm going to delete below a line. And this will take every bit of survey data, not just what you're visualizing here, but the data associated with it. We'll go ahead and, and eliminate those points. And likewise, I can remove points above a certain value. But typically, just to do that, I'm just going to clean up that part in a bit. I got a little blob there. Let me get rid of that. So there's kind of a rough right, minimum maximum deletion. And I can angle my surface and start to take a look. Now, this is a barge on the bottom down here. And we have individual tools where we can go and clean this up. Right now, we're looking at an average Z value. If I take this and rotate on a perspective like that, so we can see that around the barge, a little more. Good, now we zoom way in. And I can see these points on the outside of the barge that really have no, no bearing. Uh, I can get them in the individual editors, but I can also do some gross editing here. I'm going to delete above a line. And the same thing over here. Okay. Let's get the hand tool again. Okay. Inside this window, it's very nice some of the things you can do. Right now we're explaining the average value. If I take the median value, you see it cleans up much nicer because we do still have some outliers here that are influencing that average point. It's not as bad as it looks so far. We can also display the minimum values, and here you can see all kinds of spikes in my data. You can clean those up. The maximum values, and those are going to be downward spikes, as you can see down here. And here are some of those below right the line. And that is. <laughs> never seen that before. Anytime we want, we can zoom the extents and get a better look at our data. So it's starting to clean up pretty nice. Well, from this point, typically I can go to the automated filters, or I can go to review individual lines. One of the nice features I wanted to show you is the ability to show the variation in each cell. Now, these are color-coded based on the standard deviation. So if there's a question about an individual cell, put that over there. I can click on that cell. It will move that point so where I see I have a grouping, a bunch of data at 25 and a bunch of data at 45. Just a little bit to the right, all the data is at 47, so I'm beginning to think that that's a spike up there that we can get rid of. Can we clean it up in a hurry? No. Well, we can use the automated filters 
I can go to the sweep filters, use the overhang undercut topography and the median filter. And then a matrix filter above and below. That's pretty uh, tight there. Let's loosen it up a bit. I'm going to update the filter preview. Let's see what we got here. If I go to show the filters, see all the points it's going to get rid of here. Individual points that I can then go ahead and, and just filter the entire data set. Go back to showing the median value. Zoom out a bit. And we've come a long way now. Apply the filters again. And let's take the filters off and take our hand and move it around a little bit. Get rid of our track lines up in space. Alright, we can do a better job cleaning this up when we look at the individual data files.